you weren't there. We made out. It was intense and passionate. Gave me a sweatshirt. Yes, I noticed. They probably noticed in space. And FYI, you look completely insane wearing it. Look, I don't know what Buddy's doing with you or what you think he's doing with you, but you need to move on. You don't want to talk. All you care about is some scuffle that happened 20 years ago. You lean on that crutch and you lean on excuses, and you and I both know you use this whole thing as an excuse to do absolutely nothing with your life. Scuffle. You don't know shit about what happened to me. Okay, those jocks you used to blow during lunch, they shattered my legs, bashed in my brains, mangled my cock so that I have to piss and come sideways for the rest of my life. Then they left me for dead. You know, things aren't too great down south. I can barely get off by myself, you know, let alone with, with another person. You know, what's done is done. You can't keep dwelling on the past, Matt. Are you fucking kidding? Are you talk about dwelling in the past? Here you are, back in Mercury, like a loser trying to score with a happily married man. But he's not happy, okay? So just stop saying that. You're hardly the authority on happiness, Sylvia. You know what, Matt? It really is a shame that you're like this, because you know what? If you had a good personality, none of this other stuff would bother people. You know, why don't you use my crutch again as a metaphor? That was brilliant, all right? That was masterful. Or, oh, you know, um, save it for your little teenage stories, all right? Because God knows you don't know shit about being an adult. 